Hi everybody, don't let the Stranger Things top fool you, I've literally watched one episode of season two, so don't tell me anything in the comments please. Today's video is a P.O. Box video, mostly P.O. Box, but also some things that aren't strictly P.O. Box, but things that I didn't necessarily request or ask for or buy, but have come into my possession anyway. Let's begin, there's a lot to get through. Up first is this, uh, this is by Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil have their own... It's not a board game. If there's no board, is it still a board game? It's like a, a game. I haven't opened it yet. It's still got the plastic wrapper on it. Um, it is called Truth Bombs, and on the back it says, Time to drop some truth bombs and find out a bit more about each other. Prepare for some funny facts, awkward admissions, and random revelations that will cause explosions of laughter. Grab a pencil, pick a question, and bombs away. So I imagine... Um, you put people in awkward situations. Again, I haven't opened it, but I am having a house party, so like boys and girls night, um, on Friday. So maybe after a few drinks this will come out. Thanks, Dan and Phil. Next up, I have a whole bag of goodies here from Johnny's Chop Shop Barbers, which is a new, um, newish grooming range. Oh, I've got a few things in there that I, I actually just stored in there. I'll tell you about in a second. Um, it's a newish grooming range, um, and they've given me like, everything. I haven't actually looked in this bag yet. I picked out a few things that I quite liked, but there's so much stuff. So I have in here, um, shampoo. No, shampoo with a shot of conditioner in it. I've got, uh, what's this? Hairspray. I don't really use hairspray. Maybe I should. Um, I've got salt spray. I've used this before and I've run out and I really like this salt spray. I like that it's got a trigger because the one I have at the moment is like a little ch -ch -ch -ch. And I feel like it's not salty enough, maybe. I have um, quite thick hair, and it has a tendency, I mean, I really do a cup now, but it has a tendency to look quite like a block. So a bit of salt spray can really add some texture, and I like this one a lot. I've got in here, what's this? Grooming cream, okay, I'm into grooming cream. That's kind of the product I use most of the time from a different brand. Uh, here I have, as well, the uh, matte hair paste. And I've got um, hair clay. I've used that when my hair was shorter and it worked really well. And I've got the pomade. Is it pomade or pomade? I'm not sure how you say it, but pomade, which is, which is kind of for like the um, really shiny sort of slicked back look. I'm getting my hair cut in a few days. And I think I might go a bit shorter, which means I might use either this guy um, or this guy for a while. Also in that bag, I have these two things, but I only put them in there to carry them upstairs. I've actually had this since just after filming my last PR Box video and I've been using them for a while now. I really like them. They're both by Charlotte's Hilbury. This one is called Unisex Healthy Glow All Year Hydrating Summer Tint Moisturiser. And this one is a uh, magic cream with SPF 15. This is lovely. It is it's quite thick. And the first time I used it, I did not think I was going to get along with it because it feels like um, like pseudo cream. You know, it's, like, it's sort of like nappy cream, but it isn't. It actually absorbs really nicely. What I do quite like about it is before bed, if I put it on, I put quite a lot on my beard uh, and, it, and my beard goes all white because it takes a while to sort of absorb and soak in. But I just feel so nice and smooth and soft. Uh, it's really hydrating. I like it a lot. And it actually feels very um, calming and nurturing. Often use it after I shave around my neck and stuff as well because it just sort of calms everything down. And this guy here, um, I didn't realise, but it kind of gives you a bit of instant tan. I put it on and I didn't notice any difference, to be honest. And my wife went, whoa, you look so brown all of a sudden. Then I actually examined my face and went, I do. So it does give you like a nice healthy glow. Um, I like that a lot actually. It's kind of like brownie. <laughs> and then when you put it on, these little blobs pop and then you go a little bit, look, you can see it on my hand already, you go a little bit darker. It's quite nice. Food! Uh, I have here Biltong. I got sent a lot. This was just literally yesterday, a lot of this. Uh, Biltong, if you're not sure, is kind of like jerky, but not. It's South African um, and it's basically air dried slices of beef. I'm trying to be quite clean and healthy at the moment. I've, I've kind of been eating quite badly lately, so I'm now trying to just be better. So I'm eating quite lean, so that means less carbs, loads of protein. So these are really good to snack on. Uh, I haven't tried the chili one yet, but I have tried the original and it was tasty, so good. This excites me a great deal. Uh, I am absolutely in love with it. It's called the Olympus Pen F. Um, and it just makes me so happy. One, it looks super sexy and sort of vintage and stylish, but it is also a powerhouse. It's really impressive as a camera and a video camera. Um, so it's it's not full frame. So usually, like the the, the camera I shoot on now is full frame, which basically it's got a really big sensor, um, but it's a bigger camera. So essentially, you get the full range of your lenses. So that my, the lens I have on here, I think, is a 20, 22, something like that. So you, it's a 22 mil lens, but because it's a smaller camera and it has a smaller sensor, you then have to multiply it by 1.6 or 1.4. Anyway, what the point I'm getting at is it's not as wide as you may think. So I have a 17mm lens on here at the moment, um, and 
it's fine for vlogging, but I am going to get a wider one. But what I love about it is all the control you have. I like shooting photography in um, black and white, and all you have to do is flick this switch here to mono, and you get like a really beautiful effect on it, just totally black and white, but it's different to shooting and taking the saturation out. It just it has a, a special system built in just for black and white photography. Uh, you have complete control over everything, your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO. You can adjust the stop like this super easily. Um, for camera nerds, it looks amazing. It works really well, it's beautiful. I also really like, the, just a really sexy function I quite like. Flipping from manual focus to autofocus is this. So that's uh, manual focus, but if you want to go auto, you just push that bit forward and then the entire thing works auto. Uh, it's got like an actual viewfinder, but also a flip screen here. Uh, I am honestly infatuated with this camera. I haven't loved the camera more than this for, for a long time. I think for the entire kit, so with the flash, which is just removable like so, um, and this lens, I think it was like £1,100. Again, I have a contact at Olympus who just emailed me and said, do you want it? And of course I jumped on it. But it is quite an investment um, if you're thinking about getting a camera. It's kind of in between a DSLR and a compact. It's bigger than a compact. Not quite as powerful as the SLR, but I think it bridges the gap really, really well. Yeah, it's great. I've got a lot of clothes to get through. So I went to Marks and Spencer's recently, and I went in there just for a suit. So I went to an event that they hosted. Uh, David Gandhi has now been announced as the ambassador for the new suiting, and of course, David looks amazing in everything. But their suiting is really good. I, I wanna, I might be making this up. Uh, but I'm not far off if I am. It's something like 25% of all suits in the UK are bought via M&S because they're really good quality and they have a massive range of sizes. Nobody is just your basic size. You know, basic size is average and hardly anyone fits into that. For example, I am a, a 38 or 40 on the chest, but a really long arm, which is quite a, a hard size to get. However, M&S stock it and they also have a whole variety of shapes and sizes and fits. So I have uh, two suits here. This suit here has a notch lapel and has a really beautiful sort of speckled pattern on it. Um, it's a really lovely fabric and just a great color. And also one of those suits that you can totally wear with a shirt and tie, but also just rock a t-shirt with it or wear it as separate because I've got the trousers here and I'm really into trousers and t-shirt type look at the moment. And you know, that's a really cool look. This one here is the actual suit that David Gandhi wore, uh, not his actual one because um, I'm slightly bigger than him. I'm not bigger than him, I'm much more than him. But um, this is the suit that he actually wore and it comes in uh, this blue color, you can get it in green or you can get it in gray. And what I particularly love about this, one, it fits amazing, but two, it's made from recycled wool. So people take um, old wool items to Oxfam, and if they don't sell, they get taken to Italy, they get de-wooled and then re-wooled again, um, and made into, into beautiful suits. And I think it's such a simple way of reducing the waste that is associated with the fashion industry. Um, I don't know why people didn't think of it before, but it just makes loads of sense, and it looks beautiful on. Again, it's really it's one of those things that you can separate, wear it with a proper shirt and tie and nice shoes, or trainers and a t-shirt. Next up, I have this kind of blouson jacket here, which is um, padded and quite thick. It's just this sort of um, shape on most people is really flattering. It's kind of a bomber shape, but with a collar. Uh, super flattering on most people, and. It just fits beautifully. I have to say, I haven't really tried much m and stuff. I went in there and I was really shocked at how well things fit. You do have to go down a size in some things. So I'm usually a medium and I took a small in this. But the small fits perfectly. And it's um, really padded, so it'll be great for this time of year. Uh, simple grey, but has texture in it and goes with absolutely everything. And it's kind of going to be my new staple. And this one here is like being hugged whenever you wear it. It's got a faux shirling running totally throughout. It's entirely lined, which is quite rare. Usually when you get like a shirling, Thing. you'll have it around the collar and that'll be it but it's all in the arms it's all like in the back and on the on the front and it's just so lovely to wear and it's kind of like a suede feel on the front but for the price I can't remember what it was now but it wasn't much money um, it's just really really satisfying and really good and also goes with so much stuff like I'd probably wear this white t-shirt black jeans a pair of boots keep it sort of super simple um, but it's lovely one more suit to show you this one comes from Hackett and it's a really beautiful Prince of Wales with a peak lapel here um, I can wear peak lapels so I've got quite big shoulders typically if you've got quite narrow shoulders you want to avoid it I'm quite lucky in that I can wear both notch and peak, so uh, lucky me. But this is uh, in collaboration with the Fox Brothers. So Fox Brothers is a really well-renowned um, fabric company in the UK. Uh, and Hackett worked with them quite a lot, but never had had a whole collection with them. This time around, they got like five or six pieces, and they're all stunning. It was, like, it was between this or a really lovely green one, but the green they didn't have in my size. Um, and I just think it's one of those things, this flannel is quite hard wearing, but also super like tactile and just feels very wintry. I like it. Another gadget, this is the Google, what's it called? 
I can't remember what it's called now, but it's like a, uh, a tablet slash laptop slash everything. And it comes with a little pencil thing as well, so we've got the pencil there for now. Basically, you can open it like so and use it as a laptop, it's touch screen, and also typey typey typey, and also pencil -y. There we go, like that. Um, or you can open it all the way up and then it turns off the keys and you just have the touch screen bit. Um, I think it's very cool, you know. I'm kind of in the process of trying my best to make iOS and Android work together because doing what I do, I get to play with a lot of gadgets and stuff. I want to have them talking to each other as much as I can. So I've got on really well, actually. I've got my laptop, which is here, which is uh, Mac, talking quite well to everything else that I have, which is Android. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like I do a lot of drawing. Well, I drew all the pictures in my book, 147 things. You can find it, link down below. Um, and I did it on uh, on an iPad, but actually this feels kind of really responsive to me. So maybe I maybe next time if I do any more drawing digitally, this is what I'll do it on. Yesterday through my door, this arrived. This is the PlayStation 4, the PS4 Pro. In fact, uh, I got the FIFA 18 edition. To be honest, I am awful at FIFA. I'm actually known as Jimmy Nilpois because I've literally never scored in FIFA. Um, but not only did it come with FIFA. I got a whole bumper pack. So basically, someone emailed me and asked me to go to an event that PlayStation were hosting. And I said, I can't make it because I was off doing something else. Uh, and then she said, just out of interest, do you use PlayStation? And I was like, you're going to hate me, but I'm an Xbox guy. So she just went, well, change that. And the very next day, this thing arrived and it's amazing. To be honest, I seem to remember I got the Xbox when it first came out years ago um, because Tarn bought it for me for Christmas. And I said to her, I'll have either PlayStation or Xbox if, you want, if that's what you want to get me. I don't mind which, to be honest, and that's just the one that, that she picked up. Um, and I love the Xbox. It's really good. I really like that you can plug your uh, into your TV, but also something else into the Xbox. So your Xbox kind of becomes the hub. But PlayStation have better, unique, exclusive games. So I know Xbox have Gears of War, but that's really the only one that I quite enjoy that is an Xbox only thing. PlayStation, however, have, um, where am I looking here? The Last of Us, which is like the best game in the world, best game I've ever played, hands down. It's totally amazing. They've also got the Spider-Man game, which comes out in, I think, next year. And I was going to buy a PlayStation specifically for that game anyway, because I'm obsessed with Spider-Man. Um, I've got FIFA here. I've got um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I really wanted to play, but again, couldn't because I didn't have a PlayStation. Now I do. Uh, I've also got a few more here. Wipeout! This really excites me. I remember Wipeout the first time around. I played it on maybe the PlayStation 1 or the Sega Saturn or something. And it's basically, if you missed it, maybe you're a bit younger than me, it's like you play sort of like spaceship type thing and you're racing and you can get like guns and it's kind of like Mario Kart but slightly more grown up I suppose. Uh, and then how cool is the packaging for this? I think the, you get, I don't know what that is, is that the game? That's the disc there, and this is some sort of hologram thing, but that's super cool. Also got what looks like a special edition of um, Gran Turismo, which is super cool. I haven't played a racing game for a long time, so that's exciting. Um, and um, Uncharted, what's oh, a special edition? Is it? No, 101. To, uh, is it? Do you think it's 101 of 2103? I don't know. But it is um, Uncharted uh, The Lost Legacy. I used to play Uncharted. I had, before I had the Xbox One, I had PlayStation 3. So I played Uncharted 1 and 2 and I loved it. And then this guy here, which is basically just like a, a trial for um, PlayStation Plus. I've been really spoiled. I'm now looking around the room at the stuff that I've been sticking everywhere whilst talking about it. And there's a lot. So thank you to everyone who has gifted me things. That's um, that's super cool. I'm very grateful. I'm a very lucky boy. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, I shall see you very soon. Bye!